I'm Ina Kuznetsova. I am Director of Linux Strategy in IBM. Linux Foundation Summit is a great way for people from various companies and backgrounds to get together, share experience about Linux, share ideas, discuss where should we go as a community in the next few months. And I'm excited to see the summit growing. We have 100 more people this year. We have a much more diverse crowd. We see end users. We have a lot of new companies who are the members of Linux Foundation. And it's uh, truly exciting. During the downturn, customers are much more focused on cost savings. We see customers uh, less uh, adding functionality, more compressing functionality in order to save costs. However, it does not mean that the customers are stop, stop buying. It means the customers put total different focus on return on investment. How can they drive their costs down? How they can get what's important? And Linux plays an excellent role in that because Linux allows customers to save costs in a variety of different ways. First of all, the whole uh, price structure for Linux provides for much more flexibility. Customers paying for subscriptions have the flexibility to reduce branches, reduce users, not carrying licenses on books. During the economic downturns, mergers and acquisitions really flourish. We see a lot of mergers and acquisitions in the beginning of the crisis. And once the conditions become a little bit better, once people see the economy starting to go up and stocks going up, there is a whole uh, number of uh, companies merging. Right? That's what history of all previous recessions teaches us. When two companies merge, integrating infrastructure can be extremely costly. Infrastructure integration is a big bill. And Linux helps customers to go over this hump in a smooth way financially, because Linux runs on a variety of hardware platforms. There is a huge choice of middleware running on Linux. In fact, in IBM, all our server lines run Linux as tier one system. We have over 500 middleware products running on Linux. So the customers can use Linux as a common denominator, leveraging multiple hardware they already have, and integrating merged, newly merged infrastructures in a cost-effective manner and still stay in the same operating system environment, still leverage the existing skills, reduce the costs uh, of uh, system administration and software, and get all the advantages uh, they, they can get from Linux. And of course, other ways to save with Linux include server consolidation for a total different reasons, to save on electricity consumption, to save on office space, to improve systems management and administration. People can save leveraging Linux desktops, a great saver, especially during economic downturn when you can use a smaller footprint system and save on your PC upgrades, big cost reduction. And uh, overall, uh, we see a growing interest to Linux during this time. It's amazing, but Linux withstands crises much better than other sort of environments. This year is a big milestone for us because we're celebrating 10 years of our commitment to Linux. We just uh, had a big anniversary back in December when we celebrated 10 years of our first commitment to this operating system. Then back in February, we celebrated 10 years of our alliance with Red Hat and 10 years of our alliance with SUSE Linux back in March. So uh, it's a big year and of course it brings up the question, where are we going from here? And Linux is different now. Linux is ready for business critical implementations. We have customers running on Linux 24 seven. So it really becomes a very interesting discussion. What do we invest in going forward? How is it different from 10 years ago? We have identified five strategic directions for our investments going forward. And we really shape our strategy and product development efforts around these five strategic directions. First is the Big Green Linux, which is a cross-company initiative to reduce electricity consumption in IBM and customer data centers. We do it through server consolidation, through improved resources management and workload balancing. Second is the Linux for business critical environment. Uh, running Linux uh, for cross-company implementations like ERP or very robust uh, vertical uh, applications like securities trading, uh, 
um, really presents a whole new set of requirements. Requirements to reliability, availability, security, scalability, level of service, uh, middleware performance. So in IBM, we focus on empowering our customers to leverage Linux for such uh, complex systems and provide them with the right functionality. The third big direction for us is Linux for mid-market. Mid-market has been lagging behind large enterprise for a while. And today we see a lot of interest to Linux, uh, both as the ways to reduce costs in mid-market and also as just a great operating environment for running business. Mid-market customers have smaller IT departments, so they don't have time for testing multiple versions, playing with the system, but they still look for robust functionality and uh, solutions pretty much along the same lines as large enterprises do. They need vertical applications, they need ERP, CRM, cross-enterprise uh, solutions. So we are focused on providing mid-market customers with solutions that would be easy to buy, easy to install, easy to manage, uh, both uh, Linux solutions coming from our Express line of products and solutions developed specifically for mid-market around Linux, such as Lotus Foundation, a pre-integrated office in a box, uh, which some of our very small customers are using these days. The fourth big direction for us is Linux desktop, both in traditional and virtual Linux desktop implementation. Again, great way to reduce costs during economic downturn. Very attractive proposition, five, seven hundred dollars cost reduction per user place. And today with uh, problems with Vista adoption, with people using desktops in a whole different way, right? People using iPhones to send email and PDAs and all kinds of devices. So people much less focused on the familiar interface and much more open to using Linux on whatever they use as their office environment, Linux desktop is gaining popularity and we see the considerable amount of requests from our customers for help with Linux desktop uh, implementation in an enterprise. And the fifth very important direction for us uh, is the emerging technologies. There will be always something new around Linux and I think the word of the day is cloud. The cloud, the concept of the cloud appeared less than two years ago, but the popularity of clouds is tremendous. As of today, IBM has launched nine private clouds, which we helped our customers to build behind firewall. Companies like Elizabeth Arden, US Golf Foundation use cloud to run their business internally. We have two academic initiatives. So IBM owns clouds that are used by research and development institutions. And we also have services available that help our customers to implement the cloud. So we see a lot of interest from large enterprise in implementing a cloud internally, making computing more like internet, a global accessible fabric of resources, high level of utilization, extremely efficient, um, and Linux with its small footprint and high performance is, uh, is a heart of a cloud. So we see a lot of interest in new development on clouds uh, using Linux. A few months ago, IBM articulated the vision for the smarter planet. We're extremely inefficient today in the way we run our infrastructures, we run our economy. 40% of electricity gets lost just because of the inefficiencies of grids. We transport food from state to state with a lot of losses. We have extremely inefficient infrastructure for healthcare. There are ways to leverage IT to match uh, doctors to patients, uh, patients to drugs and treatments and hospitals in a much more efficient manner. So in the heart of uh, this vision is the thought of a better integration, more efficient communications, better data processing and business intelligence, if you want. So Linux is uh, instrumental uh, for this vision. When you think of connectivity, you cannot forget about Linux powering all those mobile devices. When you think about infrastructure, you think about Linux running on servers and routers and network devices and integrating uh, the variety of hardware together in an efficient manner. 
And of course, when you talk about data processing and data analysis, you cannot forget that Linux powers over 80% of top 500 supercomputers today. There are multiple business intelligence applications like Cognos, like uh, Sybase IQ, run on Linux, used by industry today in an extremely efficient manner. So Linux is a great environment to build better data analysis tools and uh, bring the vision of a smarter planet to reality.